Welcome to Kids Academy. Mom has grown one flower. We show its quantity, one, with this number. We also have one flower pot here, so we use the number one for the pot, too. Here we have one watering can, so we can write the number one next to it. Everyone has one mom, so we write one here again. We've learned the number one. Now we can say that one mom is using one watering can to water one flower that grows in one flower pot. There are two birds on the tree branch. We show their quantity, two, with this number. Here come Maya and Ryan. There are two of them. To show their quantity, we also use the number two. Maya and Ryan have brought seeds to feed the birds. The kids have got two feeders ready for the birds. The number two shows the quantity of the feeders. We've learned the number two. Now we can say that two friends, Maya and Ryan, have fed two birds with the help of two feeders. Number three. We can see three stones on the sand. Their quantity is shown with the number three. There are some sea plants growing next to the stones. There are three of them, too. Their quantity is also shown with the number three. Here are some fish that were hiding behind the stones. There are three fish, so we can use the number three for them, too. It looks like the fish are hungry and would like to have a bite. Now we've learned the number three and can say that three fish are biting three plants growing next to three stones. Four cats are basking in the sun. The number four shows their quantity. Four raindrops have fallen right down on the cats. The quantity of raindrops is shown with the number four. Cats need to hide from the rain or they'll get wet. Four umbrellas can cover four cats from the rain. We've learned the number four. Now we can say that four cats will be protected from the rain with four umbrellas. Here are some young dogs. How many are they? They are five, and we show their quantity with the number five. They've come here to show their strength and agility. What great guys! Let's see what they can do. All the five dogs have walked the beam. None has fallen down. Great job! Now they'll have to jump over an obstacle. All the five have overcome the obstacle. They're all so good! Now let's see if they will be able to catch all the five balls. True champions! They've earned these five awards. We've learned the number five, as we've seen how five dogs earned five awards for their strength and agility. There's a big family living in this house. 
a brother and a sister, their parents, and grandparents. In total, six people. That's why the family needs to have many things in this house in the number of six. They need six toothbrushes to brush their teeth. They need six chairs to sit at the table all together. They've got to have six plates, six cups, six spoons and forks to have a meal. And when they've got a yummy cake on the table, it is cut into six pieces too. We've learned the number six. So we can say that in a house for six people, a lot of things come in the number of six. Hi, I'm Chloe, and I'm in big trouble. I've lost my five little chickens. Will you help me find and count my lost chickens? Undefined patterns and shapes that use groups of 10. Each of these blocks are in a group of 10. Even though the groups have a different shape, we can count and see that they each have 10 blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There are 10 red blocks in a line. Do you think there are 10 orange blocks too? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. The orange blocks were in two groups with five blocks each, just like the fingers on your hands. One hand has five fingers and two hands makes 10. Hey look, that monkey has five fingers too. One, two, three, four, five. Give me five, little buddy. Look at this group. Do you think there are 10 green blocks in this pyramid? Let's count and see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Yes. This group has 10 too. Sometimes you can find 10 by seeing one of these patterns. Which group was easiest for you to count? Okay, boys and girls, now it's time to find the groups of 10 animals in the zoo. Let's use these groups to help us count and find 10 with other things too. Whoa, look, now that's a lot of monkeys. I wonder if there are 10. If we move them around and try to put them into two equal rows, are there five in each row? Yes, look, 
five and five make 10. It looks like this pattern. Our monkey friend wants us to go see the penguins. It's your turn. Let's go to the penguin pool and see if you can find groups of 10. Do you see which one has 10? It's this one. And thanks for helping me count, look for patterns, and find groups of 10. See you next time. Subscribe to our channel to stay updated on new videos. Find links to our apps in the comments below.